I'm going to do a number of videos on achieved questions of differentiation for NCE students and this would be useful for any student doing calculus. Okay, these are simple questions and I'll show you how to differentiate and then how to check your answer on a graphic calculator. Okay, because that's one skill you need to know how to check this. If uh, you do a small mistake, you can end up with the wrong answer. So it's a good skill to learn. So let's start with the first function. Y is equal to cube root of 4x minus 5. So when you are, now this is a composite function. So you've got an inside function, which is 4x minus 5 and the cube root of the inside function. So if you write this as a power function, this can be written as 4x minus 5 to the power 1 third. Now you can you have to apply the chain rule. Now, so I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to use the chain rule and what the chain rule actually means. Okay, you can go, you can go through a process and if you don't understand, there's no meaning in it. So, yeah, I'm going to let this inside function as u, okay? So, I'm going to say let u is equal to 4x minus 5, okay? So, which implies y will become u to the power 1 third, okay? Now, here we have to, we're going to differentiate this with respect to x. So, what do I mean by this? Therefore, can I say d by dx of u so this is called the derivative operator d by dx so we are differentiating the left hand side so to differentiate the right hand side so i'm going to use the derivative operator to each of this term so this is the same as d by dx of 4x minus d by dx of r now i wanted to use logic so differentiation is if you understand the logic, it is really exciting. So you're asking this question now, what's the change in u for an infinitesimally small change in x? Okay, that is nothing but d, du by dx. Okay, so we don't know. What's the change in u with respect, uh, for a very small change or infinitesimally small change in x, that is du by dx. Now, here we're asking the question, what is What's the change in 4x for an infinitesimally small change in infinitesimally small change in x? So here, this is d by dx, or when you find this is a gradient function. When you find the gradient function, you are looking at the gradient. So basically, if you look at this function, this is y. If suppose this is y is equal to 4x, the gradient of that line would be 4. So d by dx of 4x is 4. And here we are asking the question, what's the change in phi for a small change in x? So we'll, we'll say, well, phi never changes. Whatever x changes, phi is a constant. So there is no change. So that is 0. I'm not going to write 0. So that's understood. So 4 minus. So d by dx is 4. Okay. So let me draw a line here. So that I, let me separate this. So this is separated. Okay. So let me use a different color here. Now we are differentiating with respect to u, u here, okay? Not me, but u. So d by du of y is equal to d by du of u to the power one third. Now, so again we are asking the same question: What's the change in y for an infinitesimally small change in u? That is dy by du. That's a gradient function is equal to now this is a power function you should know the uh, derivative or differentiation of a power function so what you do is you basically drop this power down and then you decrease the power by one so what do i mean by that so when you drop this down this will become one third times u to the power drop and decrease so i remember this is two d's you got two d's here so it's first drop the power and then decrease the power by 1. So that's 1 third minus 1. Okay, so this becomes dy by du is 1 third u to the power negative 2 thirds. Okay, so this is your answer. So let me 
use a different color so this is I'm um, boxing this away so this is I'm going to use this later okay now I'm going to write the chain rule okay so let me use a green so the chain rule is nothing but like this dy by dx see the question was to d you had to find dy by dx okay so dy by dx using the chain rule is nothing but dy by du times du by dx so this is something very simple to remember see when you say dy by dx or dy by du or du by dx these are infinitesimally small numbers so basically these are fractions so this is du is a infinitesimally small change in u and here you have got again du so this and this gets cancelled so this and this are the same okay now what is dy by du we got one third so i can write in place of that i can write one third u to the power negative two third times du by dx what is du by dx that is nothing but four so this becomes dy by d x is equal to this is 4 over 1 and 1 third times 4 is 4 thirds u to the power negative 2 thirds so let me write 2 thirds negative 2 thirds you don't need to simplify the question is in the year you do not need to simplify your answer but I like to simplify a little this is perfect okay now you're you have it because now you're written you have written this in terms of u but you have to uh, substitute back so our question is in terms of x so so you say dy by dx is equal to four thirds what is u you have to substitute back u is nothing but 4x minus 5 so if i substitute 4x minus 5 so it is 4x minus 5 to the power negative two thirds and this is fine but if you want to do one more step which i like to do this power will become four thirds times one over four x minus five to the power two thirds so a simplified form is dy by dx is four over three times four x minus five to the power two thirds Okay, so this is the most simplified form if you had written this this is fine but I like to write in this form so let me box this away I'm using a box so this is my box okay so this is my final answer now the big question is how do I know this answer is right okay so I need to know I need to confirm whether my answer is right so here divided by dx is nothing but the gradient function of this given function that means at any point when you graph this I'm not going into the, I'm not going into the graphical part we can if you know this is a derivative so at any point you can find the derivative or the gradient by uh, using this formula so I'm asking my question uh, what is dy by dx so this is to check so let me write check so I'm asking my question what is dy by dx of this function at x is equal to zero now you can take any number but zero is a neat number which uh, simplifies to a very good number you can take any number or any value of x where the function is defined so i believe my function is defined at zero uh, yeah you can find cube root of negative five so it's defined so just what you have to do is you have to put this in this equation so this is 4 over 3 bracket this 4 times 0 is 0 minus 5 to the power 2 thirds so let me use my calculator so I go to menu run so you go 4 divided by bracket uh, minus 5 raised to this power I'm again going to put in bracket so it's 2 divided by 3 okay so this is 2 divided by 3 okay uh, am I doing something wrong here oh yeah I did a mistake here so it's 4 divided by 
three times okay that's always good to check uh, raise to bracket 2 divided by 3 close the bracket this is 0 0.4599 okay so let me write that so this is 0. Point, so let me put okay 0 0.4599 this is 0 0.4599 now how will I check on the calculator so you go to your table menu okay and type in this function okay the function was 4x minus 5 to the power 1 third so type in like this 4x minus 5 raised to 1 I'll again use a bracket 1 divided by 3 just like that and then you go to set and I'm starting from 0 to 5 and one more thing you have to go to your setup I got a phone ringing I will not answer that phone so you if you go to setup uh, if it, you this derivative has to be on okay if confirm again I'll explain you go shift setup and this derivative has to be on so exit and then you go to set and go I want to find the derivative at zero and you go to table here we go this is what at zero when x is zero this is your y value and at that point your derivative is 4.0.4599 okay so you can give yourself a smiley face now i want to do a number of videos on this uh, topic so this is my next question i want you to do this yourself and then you can listen to my next video see you in the next video